Good morning, fishing freaks. How are we doing today? I got my good buddy Ryan Slope over here. Giga Max. We're fishing, uh, fishing out of the Aggie boat today. We're gonna have a little fun. We have not fished together in I don't know how many years. Two. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. The last time, the last time we got, uh, we, we got to go fishing. Swope caught a giant, caught a 10 pounder. And uh, I think we said pretty shortly after that, we're like, yeah, we're, this isn't the last time we're fishing together. <laughs> we didn't know it was going to take this long to fish together again, but we're finally, we're finally here. getting to go after it, man. So we're here. It's, it's go time. roll. Yeah, it's go well, time. What's your, you got a, you got a really great saying when you go bass fishing. What is it? Get your arm broke, baby. Get your arm broke, baby. <laughs> and he did get his arm broke last time. Now we're, we're on a totally different lake. We're on a big lake today. Go try to catch some big bass, guys. Let's go do it. Stay tuned. <laughs> you got one? Good one. Swope soaked up already. Big large mouth. Arm broke swoop coming out here. Already getting it done. Take long, dude. That's a fat, healthy one. That's a good fish. Yeah. Nice All right. three, three pounder to start the day. Look at that beautiful large mouth there, guys. Swoop out, messing around, baby. That a boy. Looking fat fish. Nice. Yeah, I've never fished over here before, but it looks good. Super windy out here this morning, guys. We're we're fishing the windiest part of the lake too, but it's usually where the the shad end up going. So might be some fat bass staying around, like one swoop just caught. He was throwing a uh, a rashi. I'm throwing a spinner bait. Hooked up on the windy bank spinner bait. Right. Little guy. Woo! Just had two bites right there. Swope got bit, and I got bit shortly after. That one was pale, like it. I was say, that was a really white. Like it just came out of the depths. Swope. Coming through with a square bill. He's back, baby. <laughs> he just picked up a square bill after not picking it up for like an hour and I know. five casts later. Boom. Here we go. Beautiful. He was out there on the point. Gig him, Max. Gig him, baby. Okay. Come on. Might have just unlocked something there. Yeah, start thinking if the... Well, we've been running around the lake. We've caught uh, three fish so far. Got uh, we got high pressure conditions moving in. What we're discovering is the the bass have not fully moved up into the new water yet. The lakes come up a few feet. This happens all the time during the spring. You get a lot of rain, water comes up. They have not fully embraced the new shallow cover water yet. So um, most of the fish that we've caught have been on that old water line where the water was. Where they feel comfortable there and so now we're kind of strategically casting to these old lake line areas and slowing down a little bit i don't think the fish are going to quite be as jazzed up just because they're, they're a little confused they just had a bunch of rain um, the shad are, are not super shallow either they're kind of sitting on the old lake line as well so uh, they're pulling water out of the lake and i think that has fish kind of uh, timid about moving all the way up there it's sort of like you know getting the getting the floor pulled out from under you so usually that sucks the fish out to the points uh, or out a little bit deeper and today i think the case is going to be they're going to be on the old lake line but we got a bunch more spots we're going to hit and try to get a big one in the boat it's just that time of year where your next bite could be a mondo Come up here, buddy. You can do it. Look at that footwork. Look at that footwork. Fat one. God, right where he should have been. I think he ate it. Oh, he, did. he completely ate it. 
Way to break the silence, bro. Oh my gosh, he hammered that. He's hungry. These fish. Guys, there's so many shad back here. It's unreal. Look at, look at, look at, look at there. show the folks at home that. That's how you swallow a bait. That is eating it right there. We have been fishing for like past hour, maybe an hour and a half without a bite. We're just looking for, for something here. And we rolled back into this pocket and there's tons of shad. Tons. Tons. And we just haven't got a bite yet. So he just, at the very end of this thing, just got a bite. So that's a good sign. He absolutely choked it. How shallow was that guy? He was right off, right off the sticks. Just right in there, huh? Yeah. It's not exactly an arm broke fish. No. But it's, it, it sure does feel good. After not getting a bite for a while, this high pressure has got them all boogered. Swoop with another one on the crank and he's got it sideways in his mouth. Look at that. That's when you know you got the right one, folks at home. Nice. Okay. Might have something going here. Got something going? You definitely have the right crankbait, dude. We can't be losing that one. Yep, we're not. We've kind of been messing around with a variety of baits today. I'm throwing a spinner bait. I'm throwing a swim jig. I'm throwing a couple of crankbaits. Definitely had the most bite bites on crankbaits. I've had two bites on crankbaits that haven't connected. He's had bites on other crankbaits that haven't really connected. But that one right there, that one's connecting. Take it. It's chartreuse on the bottom and it's got purple on the back. So I'm thinking that might be the deal for this water clarity. It's just, it's dirty. There's a lot of shad in here. They need, you know, a little something to pick it out. So good job, Swope. Thank you. Appreciate it. Beautiful day out here. Beautiful day, just catching bass. Catch bass. I just turned the camera off and back on again and Swope. Oh, dude, you throw back in the exact same spot. Exactly. Might have figured him. Might have figured out where they're living now. Are you hung? Yeah, it's been fun. Okay. All right. We got to go get it. We don't want to lose that crankbait. That's that's our only ticket today. Yeah, man, it's good. Got him? Swope again. Ugh. Come up here. Swope's just, he's, he's cranking it out in the back, folks. Okay. He's getting it done. Purple back, chartreuse belly. Mr. Rackley here on the bait slice. That's right, I get an assist for that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I went out and bought a couple after that. Oh, there's one. Yeah, that feels like a better one. Oh, it's a good one, yeah. This is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at that sucker go, man. hammered the crankbait. Oh, it came off. Oh. Dang it, dude. That was like four pounder. That was a good, that was a good yeah, that was a good one. I knew something felt shifty right there at the end. I was like, he's going to turn and dang it. That, that one went wild. It's right there in the mud line. I just switched uh, crankbaits up to this funky little deal here that's made by Rattletrap, I think. There's a pretty uh, distinct little color change right here. I know. See it? Oh my gosh. Right, dude, right there on that color change. I mean, just hammered it. Not nearly the size of the last one I lost, but well, he smacked it. Yep. I don't. I can't tell. 
Oh, he's just side hooked. There he was. He showed up. It's going to require a retie. Got something here. What do we got? Got a bass here. It's a pretty good one. That's a nice one. Uh, woo! Well, we just kind of tagged it like right by the boat. Look at this guy. This is a fat one right here. It's a square, dude. <laughs> it's this square on a square bill. Oh, yeah, baby. That thing, man. There's a nice one. Fish, man. A real healthy one. Girth. That is a girthy one. That's a swope fish, man. He's on the swope diet. Look at that thing. He's the protein diet. He's the protein. High protein. Hamburger diet. That's a nice, that's a nice four pounder. That's nice, man. It's a fish of the day. Good stuff. Mmm. Right. Four, five. Good five. sniff. Yeah, I got a nice solid four pounder. Let this guy, this guy go here. On the square oh, bill. It. Yeah. It's kind of muddy back here. Yeah. What you got, bud? Oh, no. Man, that's a good log. Dude, that's a nice log. That's a good one. Dude, that was just sad. I thought you had a Mondo. I was convinced. Wow. Wait, was the line? <laughs> the line started moving. Had me fooled. I grabbed the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's a big one. Got hooked up on the spinner bait. Oh, right on this point. He was, yeah, he was a little ways off. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Here we go. Oh man. He inhaled it. Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. First spinnerbait fish of the day. Nice one. I don't know if you can see this here, guys, but there's definitely a color change in the water there's this distinct line that runs right here and we've been we've had a lot of bites today on these little color change lines I'm just working this windy bank right now it's definitely something to look at you know after a rain uh, the fish will use these mud lines as little transition areas just like bank transitions and they'll they'll hide in the mud line and wait for bait fish to come through and use it as protection and, and camouflage is that a secret? Can we show that? Yeah. Mm. This is the swope box. <laughs> What's the swope box all about? You got some big stuff in there, dude. Well, got a variety. I need to get a little more organized. We've got uh, some good rust going on in here. Good rust? You got any like sandwiches in there that you keep? Uh, a couple burgers. Protein? <laughs> a couple cheeseburgers. This man eats more protein than I eat in probably a week. <laughs> like he has a steady diet of just carnivorous, savage meat consumption. But you, how many burgers have you eaten already today? I yeah. ate a burger for breakfast. Burger for breakfast. I eat a burger for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. This guy, thumbs up for carnivorous manhood right here. This man knows how to eat. Caloric intake on lock. We're packing it in. Giving up, it was, it was tough, man. It's tough this afternoon. High pressure really set in. It just became just became a bear for us to try to get bites. We went hard. Uh, Swope, he, he figured out the crankbait deal. We fished crankbaits the rest of the day after he had those couple of good fish on there. My philosophy with crankbaits kind of showed up today, where if it's 
Um, I like spinner baits when it's windy and overcast. I like crank baits when it's windy and sunny. That's kind of my philosophy on cranks, but what did you think about it today? Tough conditions. It's part of fishing though. Sometimes, yeah, they, this time of year, fish are moving around, shallow to deep in those staging areas. So it's just a matter of just going out and fishing and finding them, and I think we did that. Good story. Stories we can't really tell Yeah, we on do camera. have a lot of good stories. Um, sorry you guys didn't get to hear. You know, this guy's a uh, former fighting Texas Aggie uh, wide receiver. Um, got some great locker room stories. Uh, so if you're ever curious, might get you on the podcast. Yeah, maybe, for sure. Maybe dabble on, on some stories. Man. Yeah. This guy's got some, some unbelievable stories and he eats like a horse and you brought bananas too which yeah. you you still caught fish even though you had bananas in the boat hit the like button for swope getting out here and fishing <laughs> probably the most well-known fisherman out of all the fighting texas aggie football players to date um the guy just loves to fish i love fishing with uh anybody that is hardcore passionate about bass fishing just like you fishing freaks so thanks for tuning in to this one we'll see you on the next one guys Giga Max.